Okay, hopefully I can make this make sense to everybody on my channel, but maybe, maybe not. Um, basically what I got here is a tiny little, I think it's one watt or something. It's it's really small solar panel sun force, just uh, one of those uh, like ATV maintainer kind of panels. And that's what I got here is a US uh, motorcycle battery actually. Um, here I have an Arduino Mega. So this is a microcontroller with a shield that goes on top of it. So I, it basically takes all the, the pins out so that I can connect sensors and do all that kind of nice stuff. It's also got a SD card slot and other nice toys. So uh, this is a fairly cheap board. You can, you can get these reasonably cheap and then load your own kind of programming code on it and do all kinds of neat things with it. Like, hook up an LCD and switches and sensors and all that kind of stuff. So what's really going on here? Well, the solar panel, uh, it's a 12 volt solar panel connected to 12 volt battery. They don't make the most power in at 12 volts. If you connect the solar panel directly up to the battery, it's going to drop to the battery voltage and it's most efficient up about, uh, I'm going to guess here, but probably about 18 volts ish. Um, there's kind of a knee curve where a solar panel is most efficient and it's it's a, up a whole lot higher once you drop it down to the battery voltage you're not going to get the actual wattage out of it that you were expecting um, everything's all dependent on the sun and all that kind of stuff too but just generally speaking um, so what is going on here we have the solar panel coming in into this set of power poles here that runs into this board, which is uh, on eBay. It's a MPPT um, solar charging board. Basically, it's a, it's what they would call a buck converter. It takes a higher input voltage and steps it down to a lower voltage, but a higher current. So you're able to take that higher voltage, lower current, get a lower voltage, but higher current. So I could take in 20 volts or 24 volts at one amp and say put out 12 at uh, I'd have to guess but like 1.5 or you know more more amps more than one um, my math ain't great so forgive me basically this battery is sitting at 12.61 uh, this is all running off of it right now I have this in sleep mode it just woke up so the panel is 19.15 the battery's around 12.7 we're kind of there um, I got to do a little bit of tweaking just to nail in the uh, nail in the numbers uh, what we have on here we have a voltage sensor and a current sensor for the input of the solar panel and we have a voltage sensor and a current sensor for the output going up to the battery uh, this is a switching power supply and this board actually has a power supply on it it's not very efficient so this one is fairly efficient and it runs into the power on this uh on this board here so it's getting power off of the battery and feeding it into this board so that's what that guy does so these two guys read the voltages these two guys read the current and then feed it into the board in here uh, the board actually sends out the data to the LCD along there and then this switch enables two different modes so right now we're in sleep mode and right now the board is sleeping it'll sleep for 52 seconds wake up like it just did and check the voltage if the voltage on the panel is higher than 12 volts it'll show and check the rest of the sensors for 8 seconds and then go back to sleep so this uses about 100 milliamps of what I saw when it's awake, about 50 milliamps when it goes to sleep. Right now this panel doesn't really have much juice to charge this battery. It's uh, very weak, but I'm going to put it into debug mode or setup mode. We may have to wait another minute or so. I don't have any catches in for the, the switch, but uh, once it comes out of sleep mode, it will go into setup slash... Uh, debugging mode and it will update every second so this is just a bit of code that it's stuck in sleep mode right now I haven't put any catches in it it uh, pulls every eight seconds actually 
but I've just told it to sleep consecutively for six or whatever. So this should come awake fairly soon here, and uh, there we go. So now we're constantly updating. Hopefully that's fairly visible if I take the panel down and put it uh, put it down flat here. We have lost our almost all of our panel voltage, and now we're dropping on 1261, 1260. So we'll put that back up in the window because it actually seems to be. Um, I'm not really reading very much current coming in because there isn't much, but uh, this panel, when this thing does seem to be in sleep, is enough to uh, keep the battery level anyway. So I'm going to get this packed up into a box and probably work on it over more or over the next week a little bit. Um, I was hoping to get it out into the shack today, but uh, I don't really feel like going anywhere today, so... Uh, just have a lazy Sunday and maybe do a little more programming maybe I can add in the temperature sensors and some other stuff but I really just wanted to test the charging at this point and see how it worked out there but uh, that's how Sam is going and hopefully that explains most of it basically I just want the maximum power out of my panels that I can and if I'm dragging them down to the, the battery voltage I'm not going to be able to do that so this setup will be able to do that for me. I should be able to store the information to an SD card. I was doing Wi-Fi. I have another board that adds Wi-Fi to this, but it's not very stable and it was taking most of my time and I wasn't getting batteries charged. So uh, I'm going to omit that for now. I don't need Wi-Fi. The reason there was Wi-Fi is it was uh, entered into a contest and uh, that was part of the contest it had to be internet connected i don't need that anymore or right now so i will omit that and try and get it charging well these two pots here uh these little blue things here they have a uh, little screwdriver things on the top you can turn those and it'll change the uh the resistance they're basically variable resistors um i can change these out to change the voltage that the battery charges at and that maximum point so the Arduino with two digital potentiometers, I could basically plug these into here and control those voltages as needed. So it's coming along and I'm going to put it back to sleep and we should shut off and go back to sleep. There we go. And now we're going back up in voltage because uses less power when it's sleeping so and this panel just isn't enough hopefully that's a decent update hopefully it explains enough that most people can understand it that's going to be a little tough on this channel because i do so much stuff and everybody's in different spots so hopefully i can this year anyway i can try to explain things where everybody can hopefully understand most of it if not put a question in the comments i'll try and uh, clear anything up. And if I got anything wrong, let me know too. I'm cool for that. Cheers.